sa volom Majo Megon Paulica. I am professor at the University of Nova Gorica and I am doing research in the laboratory of organic uh, materials, organic electronics. And uh, I'm also teaching in the School of Science, I'm teaching physics and astrophysics, and I'm teaching our students to do data acquisition uh, programming. My name is Mattia Fanetti. Uh, I, I'm a professor at the School of Science here at the University of Nova Gorica, and I'm a researcher uh, at Materials Research Laboratory. And uh, I teach also uh, one course of uh, Physics Laboratory uh, for the first level students and uh, the third year. And uh, this laboratory is about uh, Fourier transform application. And uh, one of the experiments in this uh, laboratory, uh, we did it uh, with uh, the Reddit time. Lab for Didactic, where, as I said, we have a course, Laboratory 4, which is about uh, uh, Fourier transform applications. In this course, one of the experiments is about uh, uh, passive filters, so high pass, low pass, and resonant. And uh, uh, we used Red Pitaya uh, to characterize uh, these filters, so the, the response diagram, the body diagram of these filters. And we use it both as a source uh, to uh, send inside the filters different frequencies and also as an oscilloscope, as a reader uh, to read the response of the, of the, of the filter. No? So actually we, we, we used that to do this kind of experiment also in the previous years, uh, but uh, in that cases we used a function generator and uh, a oscilloscope. But uh, in this case, for this particular experiment, we decided to use the Red Pitaya both as a source and a reader um, because uh, well, to try to see uh, if uh, it works and uh, also because it is much more accessible, uh, especially if you have uh, more groups of students, like this year we had more groups, so we cannot uh, have uh, oscilloscopes uh, for each group, it's very expensive. So, Red Pitaya is kind of a very interesting option. Yes. So I used uh, Red Pitaya in laboratory. So I was trying to replace a much more expensive instrument, but uh, it turned out that Red Pitaya for that demanding application, I was doing impedance spectroscopy of a very low resistor. But Red Pitaya, uh, so in that case, the noise level is very important for the analysis and it could not compare with this more expensive uh, so this, this instrument. But I think for the, the rest of applications where uh, the, the circuit is not so demanding in terms of signal to noise ratio, I think it's a very uh, nice option to just monitor some signals. Uh, it's perfect to just plug it there, connect to network and you can monitor. And it has all uh, the interface, so it's easy to, to, to implement it in your software with the rest of the setup. The main benefit, I think, in its uh, versatility. So you have a function generator, you have a oscilloscope in this small box, which you just connect to the network and power. And then you have the whole set of software available so it's easy to implement in the existing setup. Uh, as I said before, uh, for monitoring applications, it's, uh, it's good enough and the, the budget is not so high. Mm -hmm. So in, in terms of price to what you get, it's quite a good option. Okay. Yeah. I, I agree, uh, for didactic purposes, uh, Red Bitaya is uh, uh, an, an interesting option because uh, uh, the price is much lower than, uh, for example, uh, an oscilloscope and a function generator, and so more uh, students can uh, experience uh, uh, hands-on uh, these uh, kind of instruments uh, uh, without uh, having uh, 10 oscilloscopes or 10 functions in it.
Uh, so in general, it's very convenient and uh, the, the performance are good enough for uh, students uh, mm -hmm. for, let's say, didactic laboratory application. Yeah. Okay. One of the benefits is also that you have a open source software. So as I'm teaching also programming and data acquisition for you to uh, multimeters and such things, uh, this is a very good option for students so that they learn that you can enter into the machine, program it, right? run your source code there, your own software, collect data. And there are a lot of examples so that they can learn by themselves if they are interested. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is, I think, one also of the benefits nowadays because every small box is a computer.